Hello, Jake Burkett with Real Broker. Got another great home tour for you today. And whether you're joining us in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate your support. So that's the awesome house behind me right now. We're in the southwest part of town. I'm gonna show you this neighborhood because no two homes truly look alike. And this house right here is a beauty. So let's go take a look. Here's our beautiful home. So I'll tell you quickly about this house. It was built in 2016. Square footage is 3,932 square feet. It's on a half an acre or just slightly under. It's a 20,000 foot lot. Five bedrooms, six bathrooms, four car garage. And you can see there's also an RV gate on the side of the house over there. So I'm going to show you the neighbor. And you can see it's ultra modern looking. We've got those transparent uh, garage doors. We've got nice stonework on the front. Uh, a nice geometric shape of the house. So we're kind of looking at the neighborhood here. You'll see that no two homes look exactly alike. So you got a lot of different looking homes. It's not a huge neighborhood. I believe there's only about a dozen or so homes in here. And I'll just pan over here. We're right at the edge of a cul-de-sac. So there's the cul-de-sac. And if this is your first time watching us, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it, appreciate your support. Uh, what we really do is help people buy and sell homes. So if you have any questions or would like some help with that, give us a call, we'd love to help you. Now let's get into this house and check it out. Okay, so we're in this absolutely beautiful home and we have three bedrooms down we have a detached casita in the back and we have two bedrooms up so what i want to do actually is go upstairs first and then i'm going to come back and explore all of the amazing downstairs so to go upstairs obviously we we have this statue over here so that's very cool uh, beautiful stairwell you can see there's accent walls all around it let me just pan back to this front entryway a little bit too It's gorgeous. Look at this wall right here. Get some artwork here. These are, you know, not real cactuses. Got some backlighting there. Just an amazing, beautiful looking entryway. And now let us go upstairs. All right, top of the stairs, we have a loft. Decent sized loft. So you could have a second living room. That's what a loft really acts like for anyone. We'll look back at the stairwell because you got this cool light fixture. There we go, looking down. Just gets you all the angles. So in every bedroom in this house too is an ensuite. So they all have their own bathroom and closet. So we're gonna go into the secondary bedroom right here. Got a lot of natural light coming into this house. Here's the closet over here. Let me try to get this full bedroom for you. All right, so nice size, plenty of light. Here's the walk-in closet. Pretty standard. And over here, we have the bathroom. So I'll just show you the bathroom right quick. It's got a walk-in shower, so pretty standard, but really nice. I'm sure any, uh, anyone who's not the owner of the house or lives in the primary bedroom would love to have that. We have another secondary bedroom. This one's very similar to the first one. You don't have as many windows, but it does have a sliding glass door onto a balcony, so we'll check that out in a second. And the flooring you're going to see in this house is tile or it's engineered wood. So here we go. Nice bathroom. And this one happens to have a shower tub combo. All right. So kind of come back around here. We're going to go out on this balcony because you can see a bit more of the neighborhood and you get some great mountain views. But we're just going to go through this door. So yeah, looking outside. So 
This is the west side of Las Vegas. We have Mount Charleston. We have Red Rock. Red Rock continuing the canyon. Heading over the hump towards Pahrump over there. So just a beautiful view from this deck. And like again, you can see a bit more of this community. So all right. And you know, it's a nice looking deck too. That stonework on the front of the house carries over here a bit. Good size deck. So let's go back inside and go downstairs which is really spectacular. Just through the front door, you got this beautiful accent wall. You have a closet, which is locked, so we're not gonna access it. We do have two additional secondary bedrooms right here, so let's take a peek in them. So this one, actually, this is not a bedroom, my bad. This is an office, so, but this would be a fantastic home office, lots of natural light. You're by the front door, so if someone's coming into the house, it's always nice to see who's Who's showing up whenever you're at home working? And you got this uh, stone back accent wall in here. Yep, good home office. And it's got this neat barn door on here. Looks like we have some reclaimed wood on it. There's a little bit of glass, so you can kind of see through it a bit, of course. Then you got this, you know, kind of rough wrought iron, you know, um, uh, geez, hardware on it. So pretty cool. But it does close up good. It's not going to be perfectly soundproof, but probably gets the job done as long as the house is not too loud. And we do have a washroom right here. It's just a washroom with a toilet and a really cool accent wall. And we have secondary bedroom. Decent size, lots of natural light. Here's our walk-in closet. And here's the bathroom. This one's pretty cool. So it's got the, the sink area separate from the shower tub area. So get a nice big mirror there. Nice, lots of counter space. Got these uh, flat finish cabinets, which you're going to see throughout the house. And then shower tub. Right off these rooms, we have the laundry room. Again, lots of storage. You have a sink in here. You have tile floor in here. But um, yeah, just that's the laundry room. So. Let's hop out of here and we'll go into the rest of the home. Again, that's just a really cool entryway coming into the house. All right, so this is beautiful. We're gonna to get to all of this in just a second. We're gonna hop right over here and check out that four car garage. And there's a massive Easter egg in here. Yep, there you go. Ain't she a beauty? So this is your four car garage. You can see we got some color in here. We've got some flooring that's been put down. We've got this beautiful car that does not come with the house. Apologies. We've got some nice storage. You do have another fridge out here. So if you need your garage fridge, you've got it. Nice little workbench area over there. Hot water heater. Pretty cool. And on that far side over there, if you didn't see it, you have your water softener system right over there. All right, so back into the house. And we're gonna kind of back our way into the kitchen because we kind of have a uh, little butler's pantry back here, right? So you got a lot of storage or you have your actual pantry right there. You do have an additional fridge back here. You got a microwave, little prep area. Of course, here's a secondary fridge. So if you're big in entertaining or storing, you've got all that. And then panning out, I'm just gonna go slowly and open up this kitchen. So we got this big six burner chef style cooktop, big huge hood. You got these sliders, we'll open up those in a bit. There's a heat lamp, so that's what that red glow is to my right. There's also a skillet in there. 
These are all uh, monogram appliances. You got your double ovens right here. You got your built-in fridge, big center island. It's like three inch thick. Quartz, you got waterfall edges on it. Just kind of giving you all of this, right? Really, really nice, really beautiful. And right over here, so this would be your dining area, right? So it's like this one concept, great room. It is, if you like it, it is fantastic. Kind of come back in here, get you that kitchen again. Nice high ceilings, got little pendant lights coming down all over the place. Backsplash right up all the entire back wall there. All right. Lots of light coming in over here. High ceilings in here. These are probably like 12 foot ceilings. You got surround sound built in. You got a entertainment area right off the main living room here. Have a pool table. You can see this reclaimed wood on the back wall, which matches the wood that's on the office over there. You got a big three panel slider that opens up into this beautiful backyard. And there is, let's hit this bedroom up down here. So this is the primary bedroom. So you kind of come into your own little suite. You got some cool storage right here, private little hallway. Walk through the main door and voila, here it is. Got your own door to the backyard. Tons of natural light. Got a stone accent wall in the back there. And here's the primary bathroom. So this is the toilet just off to my left. We all know what a toilet looks like. Got this big, huge counter, two sinks, lots of storage, floating cabinets there. You got framed out mirrors with also a beautiful back wall. You got some cool lights coming down there. You have this huge walk-in shower. You got two heads over there. We may as well walk in it too, right? Better look. There's the shower. Got a nice bench. It's good to have a bench in the shower. You got a nice little lip right there so it stops the water from going up under the freestanding soaking tub. And you got a huge soaking tub right there, right? Now, over here, we have the closet, which is totally built out. Really nice, quite beautiful, very elegant. Got some cool light fixtures up top. Yeah. All right, so we've hit the downstairs secondary. We're in the primary. We've explored this beautiful living room area right here. And let's go. I guess it's, it's time to go outside, right? Let's do it. So I'm going to show you just if you've never seen before, how these sliding glass doors open up. So they're fantastic to have in a house. We have great weather, many, many months of the year, and these open up nice and smooth. They're in great condition. And I think these are true pockets. So I think they actually are gonna slide all the way back here behind the wall, which they are. So imagine entertaining friends right? Uh, family, friends, whatever it is, work professionals coming over, great weather, and you have this amazing backyard. You can open up this slider. You can also open up the other slider, which is over off that pool table room. You have this beautiful back deck area, covered patio. You got a TV, got a couple heat lamps. We got lights, ceiling fans, beautiful tile work down here. Let's see, I'll get that tile work for you there. And then you just have this, this awesome backyard. So we're just gonna kind of take it all in. We got a beautiful sunny deck over there, a little kind of gazebo area. You got your uh, hot top jacuzzi, however you wanna call it. Awesome pool. Got a couple of bar stools underwater over there. So you could sit on a stool and be right up against the edge of the pool. We're gonna look at all that real closely. We're just gonna kind of work our way from this side of the yard back. You have this awesome outdoor kitchen. The landscape out here is fantastic. It's, I, I think it's fantastic. And over here, we have the inside of that covered RV parking. 
So that's nice. You can pull your RV in here. It's beautiful. It's nice. It's elegant. It's very tastefully done. The gates to get in are lift masters that are on remotes. So you don't have to get out and like, you know, lock and unlock it yourself. You hit your little remote, boom, they open up, you pull your vehicle in. Got your AC units. And even look at the detail out here with the, the tile on these columns, the lights. Kind of goes around, obviously the paint matches. Even the pool equipment's back here. You've got an accent wall back there. Got a great outdoor kitchen right here. So good for hanging out and enjoying the beautiful weather out here. These are ceiling fans and lights all in one. So what do we have right here? We have a skillet, right? Oh, geez, that's a sink. It's a prep station sink. Take a look at this countertop. That's cool. Over here, we got two barbecues. Got a little fire pit area over here. So if you want to sit out there, or maybe that's like a little hibachi. Got a hammock if you want to chill. Got some turf under it. So this, this is fantastic. All right, so here's our pool area. Kind of go downwards here. So you can see there's those uh, bar stools. Self-cleaning pool, got a nice water feature back there. Here's like a little swim platform area. It's here, it's just it's a lot more shallow, like probably 18 inches deep or so. Nice size hot tub. Really cool sunning deck right here. So if you need a little bit of shade, but you still wanna be outside, like this is quite resort style. Kind of looking back. And we do have a uh, playground area over here. So let's check that out. Here's those other three sliding glass doors. So these would all open up this way. They don't pocket in. So you'd have just the two panels um, open up and then the, the three would be stacked right here. So over here, we got a nice little outdoor, you know, uh, picnic bench area. Got a shade, little greenhouse over there. Got a cool playground area, or maybe it's like your little ninja, ninja warrior training area over here. You could do whatever you wanted with it. There was a bird cage over there. Mature landscape. And the detached casita pool house, however you want to use it, describe it, um, is set up as a home gym, but it's pretty large. So if you had someone living with you, they could easily be set up in here, All right? It's plenty big. And uh, as it is as a gym, you got a little sauna right there. And in here you've got the bathroom, which has a shower, walk-in shower. So. There's our bathroom, there's our walk-in shower, and this is just a storage closet. Well, that does it for this home tour. Thank you so much for watching us. We really appreciate it. If you have any questions about their buying or selling process, we'd love to have a chat with you. We'd love to help you out. Um, that's what we do. I um, hope you enjoyed this home tour. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for the support. You all have an amazing, blessed day.